filled with noise. He was the filter. They had the questions, and he had the answers. Now one man must face his greatest task with the highest stakes possible and face his most powerful opponent yet, the YouTube algorithm. But he knew too much. He went too far. So now he invites you to embark on an epic adventure and join him on his quest to educate the masses by providing the short answer followed by the long answer. One man, one desire, one channel, one life to lift, one chance to change your life with the best advice you'll ever receive. This summer, David Vander Hayden is your trainer. He's got a very particular set of skills. Skills he's acquired over a long career. Also, does that David guy have great hair or what? <laughs> oh, hey. Yeah, just gonna put that over there. Hey, I'm David. If you're uh, watching this, you've found my channel and you may have heard of me from that trailer you just heard. Welcome to my fitness channel. Super glad that you're here. Now that I have your attention, I just wanna make a few points before we get started. So if you're watching this video, it's probably because you just found my channel and you're wondering what I have to offer for you. And let me tell you right now, I'm gonna help you out more so than 99% of the other trainers and fitness people out there because there's so much information out there nowadays that you're gonna need somebody to try to just sift through all of that noise. And that's what I'm gonna do cut through the noise and I'm gonna just tell it to you like it is. Like it used to be the case where you would be looking for information out there and you'd barely be able to find anything. But now there's so many people out there that are trying to give you fitness advice and you don't really know what to follow. And it creates a lot of noise and it's confusing. And I don't wanna to add to that noise. I wanna cut through the noise. I wanna give you the information that you need to know so that you're very confident in your fitness goals. And the way that I'm gonna do that is by not doing the two common things that I see everybody do on YouTube. They either tend to oversimplify things or they tend to overcomplicate things. And I wanna to try to find that balance in between where it's like, I'm not trying to go on and on and on about a topic, although I will do that from time to time, but I'm also not gonna oversimplify things and be very dogmatic and say, you have to do it this way because there's multiple ways that it works. But in order to give you those kind of nuanced answers, you have to know what you're talking about. You can't just pull stuff up you know, out of thin air and say, this is the way. And before you go and you navigate away and start watching your cat videos or your baby Yoda memes or whatever people are doing nowadays, consider watching some of my content because I really want to help you out. And the way that I'm going to do that is by taking all of this information that's out there. And there's a lot of it out there. And it's actually kind of confusing. And taking all that noise and filtering it out and just giving you the information that you need to know based off of your needs. So I'm not gonna like preach to just one population, just the bodybuilders or just the just the moms. And I, you know, you're supposed to kind of pick a niche when you're out here on YouTube, but I wanna help everybody. And what I'm gonna try to do is give you general advice, but then also tell you like, who is it for? And it's all gonna be based off of this research. And none of it is gonna be without my prior experiences coaching people. Since we live in this crazy information age where there's hundreds of competing voices out there and uh, they're all trying to grab your attention and tell you hey this is the way they're very much like the mandalorian this is the way it's not the way there's plenty of ways to get towards your fitness goals and i'm going to help you get there and if there's anybody who ever tells you they have all the answers then they probably don't know what they're talking about i don't have all the answers but i'm really good at coming up with an answer that works for you so i'm going to give you a simplified answer up front and then later, I'll expand on some of those concepts. If you really want to know more information, I'll also have my podcast, One Life to Live podcast, that you can check out while I'll go into extreme detail, like actually going over the research articles and stuff like that, or interviewing people who are important that know a lot about a topic, if that stuff's interesting to you guys. So a lot of people in the fitness industry, they want you to subscribe to their rules. And they say that they have it all figured out and just follow this and all of it will be very simple and very easy for you to do. If only you would do what they recommend, then you'd be successful. There's like a code for you to follow. But I like to think of it more like Pirates of the Caribbean. Pirates of the Caribbean, they say, you know, stick to the code. Well, 
In the words of Barbosa, there is no code really. They're more like guidelines. So that's kind of what we're gonna do. I'm gonna give you the guidelines that you need in order to be successful in your fitness journey. I wanna give you guidelines so you can figure out what you're actually supposed to do because not everybody's the same. Everybody's gonna need different things and they're gonna to have to have different needs. And one thing that I just, I hate seeing is when a fitness person it's so convinced that they know exactly what they're showing you. Like, just do this, but they don't know why. They don't even know why they're doing it. They don't know the physiology behind it. And that's where I come in. I know the how to do it and the why to do it. And my background in physiology is what gives me an edge. And I can tell you why things work because of my extensive background. I work with people who have been in uh, therapy settings. So I do a lot of therapeutic rehab and I do personal training too. So let me tell you a little bit about myself before I go any further, okay? I have a master's degree in exercise physiology. I've dissected cadavers. I used to teach anatomy courses, so I love teaching anything that has to do with anatomy and physiology. I did my thesis in biomechanics with relation to balance and postural stability. So all that stuff kind of gives me a very well-rounded approach. And also just a lot of my real world experience that I have from training and also working out on my own, you know, here in the, in the gym that I have and at big box gyms. And my background is all in physical therapy. So I used to work in physical therapy clinics. Uh, I learned a lot of therapeutic exercises that they use in those clinics. Most of the people that I train are from special populations. So those are people who have joint replacements, people have arthritis, multiple sclerosis, Parkinson's, trained amputees, and just your good old fashioned geriatrics, okay? So people who need help with their balance, right? And when you do a lot of these different populations, you start to realize where the common threads are for people, the guidelines, right? I train people who have also been in car accidents. So we've had traumatic brain injuries and they're trying to learn how to walk again. And I do gait training with them and I also do balance, but I also do like dance therapy and aquatic therapy and things like that. Try to make uh, things a little bit more fun for them. And when you have to spice things up like that, it challenges you to be more creative and it pushes me to be a better trainer and also pushes me to be a better scientist and go look up the actual research so that I'm confident when I'm working with these special populations, they're not just your Joe Schmo populations where you could throw anything at them, but they're these people who need very specific things and I can't just do only guesswork. I look all that stuff up. And a lot of times you have to use some critical thinking in order to filter out all the BS claims that you see from all these different people in the fitness and, and nutrition and supplement industry who are trying to tell you all these miracle things that are out there and you have to know what is the BS and what's not. Now at the same time, I'm a pretty open-minded guy. You know, I'm okay with people using things even if they don't fully understand them. And I don't think that you need to understand every little tiny aspect of exercise physiology for you to do any of the stuff that I prescribe you. I just wanna make sure that you aren't wasting your time, your money, and your effort on all these BS claims that are out there and getting suckered into things that are at best a placebo and at worst, terrible for your health and a waste of money. So I want you to feel like you got somebody in the corner and that somebody in the corner is me. Okay, so now that you know that I'm on your side, here's what I'm gonna give you. First of all, how-to videos. So we're gonna build that foundation brick by brick. Uh, most of it's gonna be general advice, but I will often include demonstrations of exercises and examples of workouts that you can do. I'm gonna have my training programs on my website that you can check out, onelifetolive.com. Also have my take on trending fitness topics and nutrition topics whatever's the latest buzz, and uh, you can write in and give me suggested topics. Um, I'm also gonna give you tips for optimizing your overall health, general training tips, how to stay motivated, diet tips, sleep and recovery, um, like just mental tips for how to stay like on it and not fall off the wagon, and how you can make workouts more enjoyable and just based off of my experience, what I've found and the psychology that goes into all of it, as well as the philosophy side of things. I'll also do response videos. So a lot of the other YouTubers will put out a video and if there's something that I feel like needs to be addressed or if I wanna to try to start a discussion with another YouTuber, if I don't agree with their claims or maybe there's some claims that you see on a magazine you read or a news article or something like that and you wanna send it to me. So you can think of it as kind of like a peer review. I'll also be doing uh, the occasional product review. And I think that's important too because I know that uh, there's a lot of stuff out there and you don't really know like, do I need it? So what's the stuff that you actually need? Like I have all this stuff on my back wall here, okay? I have my rack, all my specialty bars and stuff like that. Not everybody needs that stuff. In fact, a lot of people only need the bare minimum amount of equipment. And just for me, I like to try out all these different products to see if there's an edge that I can gain or maybe an easier way of doing things. Or if I can buy a specialty bar, maybe I'll enjoy an exercise a little bit more. 
So for me, I like to experiment, but I've also found a lot of products that don't work as well. And I've kind of bit the bullet on that one for you guys to try to figure that out. When I do a product review, I'm going to go over like who is it for and whether or not it's worth your money. And then there's always the case too, where it's like you go out and buy a product and you're not sure if the cheap version is going to be good enough or if you need to drop several hundred extra dollars on the, you know, some specialty bar or, you know, Olympic weight plates or something like that, or, you know, these things that you're not really sure, like, are they worth the money? And for the most part, when it comes to fitness equipment, it's either you buy nice or buy twice, but sometimes you can get away with, um, especially if you're traveling or something like that, you want to use minimal equipment, you can, you can totally get away with using that stuff. And I'm going to have that provided for you guys with those product reviews. And all the products that I use are going to be ones that I wholeheartedly recommend. I'm not sponsored right now, um, but even if I was, I'm not going to give you guys something that I don't personally use. Oh, and shout outs to our Patreons out there. We have three Patreons so far, Scott, Scott, and Steve. But uh, the Legion of Scots has always been with me since the beginning of the podcast and One Life to Lift. So I really appreciate you guys uh, sticking with me. Uh, this whole channel is, kind of, is, is for you guys. You've really inspired me to keep pushing forward. And uh, yeah, I just wanna say thank you and uh, let's continue on with the next part of the video. So a lot of people, when it comes to buying fitness equipment, they want a yes or no or a buy or don't buy. But uh, just like with everything else that I give you on this channel, it's not always gonna be a binary yes or no. I feel like a lot of people out there, they're very binary. They wanna know is this good or bad? Should I eat this or should I not eat this? Should I, you know, eat only carbs or eat only fats? Or they, they want to know exactly like, what should I do? Just tell me, tell me what should I do? But I don't really like giving blanket statements out there like that to everybody. Like everybody needs to do keto or something like that. Or everybody needs to eat three avocados in a, a, per day. Otherwise you're going to die of colon cancer or something like that. I don't make those kind of blanket statements. And I mean, fitness is not one size fits all. Uh, it's going to be very customized for you. And on each video, I'm going to try to cater to different people who are watching these videos. Also, if you want really specific advice, you can always subscribe to my Patreon page below, patreon.com slash 1L2L. And with that, you'll gain access to all sorts of exclusive content, discounts, all that kind of good stuff. But you'll also gain the ability for me to directly make videos based off your questions or just directly answer you right away because there's like a private Discord server where you can chat with me and stuff like that. But if you guys just have a quick question that you want answered, uh, make sure you leave a comment down below. Just type that out. If you have any suggestions or feedback or uh, thumb something you'd like me to see me do in a future video, uh, leave a comment down below. Also, give me a like. You know how important that is on YouTube for the algorithm and everything to give me a like if you even remotely like this video. So if you want to see more of me, do that. Also, subscribe by clicking that bell there for the notifications too, so you know exactly when my videos are put out. And yeah, that just about wraps everything up. So appreciate you guys sticking to the end of the video. You're awesome if you did stick to the end of the video. And just remember, this is the tagline. You only have one life to lift. I got to make sure that I like, I like flex when I do that. Like one life to lift. <laughs> okay. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Stay tuned. I don't know who you are. But I will find you, and I will help you. Help kill you. <laughs> Liam Neeson, man. He should have been a trainer. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, this is this is weird talking to yourself on the camera. I mean, I, I have a script over here, but I, I, I don't look at it a lot of times and then I just end up rambling. So, yeah, what's 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 over here anyways? You guys know? You don't even know. I guess you have to subscribe to find out in a future video whether or not I got something in the corner. What's on the rack? You can't even see the rack. Look at it. It's over there, though. It's over there. There's stuff over there, but I'll save that for another video.